Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Friday, March 21st, 2025. There was a magnitude 6.2 earthquake off the Aleutian Islands today near Adak, Alaska at 6.53 Alaska Daylight Time. It was located about 84 mi or kilometers or about 52 miles from Adak, which is up over here, at a depth of about 26 kilometers or 16.2 miles. No immediate reports of damage or injuries, but that might be because of the remote location. Yeah, and this area is known for frequent earthquakes. You can see 2023, a 5.1, 1957, a 9.0 with a tsunami. Today's earthquake, even though they're reporting no tsunami, does have a small tsunami. You can see the buoy going off right here. And it's recorded as maybe a half of a meter, which is 1 foot 7 inches. This is a region of high submissivity because of the subduction of the Pacific Plate beneath the North American Plate, going north there. Be besides the uh, 1957 9.0 earthquake. There was also one in 1965, an 8.7 near Rat Island. Let's go over there. That would be probably somewhere over here. Yeah, right there. Uh, because of the depth and the location of today's earthquake, it was probably related to the Wainity um, Benioff seismic zone and I want to show you this this is why they got that small tsunami yeah this was a thrust earthquake where one side of the fault stays you know stationary and the other side either drops up or um, comes down yeah thrust earthquake they're the worst kind you can have and luckily it wasn't a large uh, fault movement luckily it wasn't a large earthquake yeah because you could have had a much larger tsunami than um, just a foot. People might have had damage. This is the felt report. Um, attic, attic intensity level 4. Yeah, that is where the three reports came from. So intensity level 4 means it was felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night they would have been woken up. Well, maybe they were taking a nap. Dishes, windows, and doors were rattling. Automobiles rocked noticeably. Did you have anything fall off your shelves or counters there? How did the uh, um, sled dogs react that you might have there? Were they pacing and barking? Put your information down below. Or if you know someone that's there and they have that information, please share it. Now, Attic itself is the most westernmost city in the United States about 1,300 miles southwest of Anchorage. Yeah, Anchorage is also on alert because of that volcano that they're expecting to erupt. And if it does, it'll be devastating. Um, they have a population here of about 300 people. So that likely contributed to the absence of immediate damage reports. Um, yeah, given the earthquake's offshore nature and so few people live there. Yep, earthquakes are increasing around the world. There's been quite a few large earthquakes just today. So there's been 13 aftershocks so far today. You can see this listed on USGS. Um, we got a 4.5, a 3.8, 4.6. All about, well, some of them are shallower. Uh, let's see, 18.7 miles, 26.9 miles, uh, 20 miles. This one's only... Um, uh, 10 point, 10 and a half miles. Let's see, we got a 5.0, which was shallow, 7.1 miles, a 7.5, and there's the initial 6.2. Prior to this earthquake, there was a 4.0 and a 4.6. Oh, and another 4.6. So there was uh, three four shocks showing that this earthquake was coming. Also showing that, yeah, earthquakes are increasing. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. 
and I will talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.